make sure. It's all about timing. I'm doing okay. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, please do subscribe. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. Um, on today's video, I'm going to be acquiring a new skill. I'm going to be learning how to contour my face. I also want to do my makeup and look snatched after I do it. So, along with that, I'm going to be sharing some things I've learned in my early 20s. Yeah. Just the other day, I was thinking how I'm about to turn 24. And I think that passes for like mid-20s. So, I'd like to share what I've learned in my early 20s with anyone who may be interested maybe anyone who's in their late teens i don't know maybe it will come in handy but then, then then again i feel like only experience can teach you some of this so yeah let's get into it i've got my mirror here and my makeup i don't think i've got what i need to contour my face but i think i've got like concealer i've never done this before but like guys come on get cooler like you know i don't want to be looking basic anymore. I also learned how to snatch my face. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing that today. I feel like I feel like this is so much multitasking and I don't even know how to make it work, but I have to make it work. Um and you did not make sure. Okay. So let's do this. Number one one of the lessons I've learned in my early twenties is that if something is beyond your control, then don't stress over it. Oftentimes, we go through some things, and those things are literally things you can't control. Like, sometimes, like, unless it's a situation where you, you can act to, to fix it, like, you can get up right now and fix it right now, and it'll be G. I feel like if it's something you really can't fix yourself, don't stress over it rather just let go and let god guys because like there's honestly nothing you can do about it and you don't want to be sad and depressed come on it's your early 20s you should be doing exciting things you should be living your life so like if something is stressing you out and you can't fix it just leave it alone um number two oh oh this one is about friends so you know how we often meet this seemingly amazing people and you're like, wow, I'd like to befriend that person. So this one is about friendship and like making new friends. Um, number two is um, just because someone is friendly doesn't mean they should be your friend. Like guys, uh, some people, I mean, being friendly is a very nice quality. But like there's more to a person than what you see the first few times you meet them you know um and sometimes people don't turn out to be what you want them to be i know i've befriended some people and the more i learned about them i was like what mm -mm -mm. um yeah like basically there's more to people than what they show you i know for a fact that someone won't meet me today and claim they know me that's what because there's so much layers to people and so now where you meet someone uh i don't know you go out you bump into a girl and girls are nice when you first meet them i know that for a fact i think i'm also one of them like girls are nice i think it's just like basically everyone when someone meets you for the first time you're gonna be so nice okay you're not everyone i guess but like i'm polite if you're a polite person you're gonna be nice you're not gonna just meet someone for the first time and be mean or rude to them and like be a moody person but then like those are qualities that eventually come out with the more you get to know someone yeah because the girlies are always smiling the first time you meet someone people are all smiles people are nice and then you befriend this person and then a few months down the line do, do, this person is not the person you met so like don't go around befriending anyone like um, if there's one thing that's stuck to my head most of my life is that friendship is more about 
quality than it is about quantity like you don't need a million friends trust me you don't and half the time it ends in a fallout some fallout of some sort so you don't need to befriend every nice person you meet it's okay to be cool with people don't get me wrong like i don't mean that you can be one of those girlies who are horrible and people just don't want to be around you no just response to friendliness with friendliness you don't need to be like okay cool i met amanda she sounds she seems friendly and now i want to be friends with her there's more to me than you would know you know and there's a million friendly people you can't you can't have 10 billion friends because you're gonna trust me you're gonna meet so many friendly people but sometimes people aren't who you think they are from the first time you meet them so yeah that's that on friends um be careful who you let into your life because i feel like befriending someone is like really pulling them close into your life like they're gonna know like what's going on in your life because also i know for i don't know about you guys but like it's nice to be able to share minor details with your friends like i'm not saying everything there's another one on that one i'll explain that one i'm not saying you tell everything to your friends but like i know for a fact i'm not gonna spend the whole day with you and not like share something about share some details about my life i'm definitely going to share something about my life and now you just met amanda and befriended her and we're gonna spend some time together obviously if you befriend me um we're gonna spend some time together and then you'll share things with me and then a few few months down the line we fall out and then i turn out to be a nasty person that would hurt that like does something to you so yeah don't just befriend people that you don't know um yeah number three number three is Oof. um number three do not overshare um i learned this the hard way like don't tell people like every minor detail of your life like you're going through something you want to tell people like don't overshare guys personally like my go-to person if i want to share something super personal or something like i've experienced i tell my mom or my siblings that those are the people that i trust and who literally know almost every detail of my life don't overshare guys same thing it goes back to the same point of how looking for my concealer um, it goes back to that point of, of you don't know people you don't know how they react in situations where hey watch me turn myself into a clown it goes back to that thing will was telling you about you don't really know people like that you know uh don't assume you know people don't assume that i can share something so personal and deep with person a and they won't tell anyone about it uh it might not be the case and you don't really know how people feel about you so i feel like if something is deep don't just tell it to everyone and anyone be very selective of who you tell super personal stuff to um it will save you a lot of trouble okay that was number three moving wait let me focus on this because i don't want to look like a clown mm. number four this applies to like a lot of things uh, things that you you low-key want to do but you're not too sure about them um for instance what i'm doing right now um i've always like i've, I've always suffered well youtube guys like i'd always be like i really want to start a youtube channel i feel like ever since i started watching youtube a lot which was what 2019 i think ever since i started watching youtube a lot i'd always be like i really want to start my own channel i really want to have my own channel i want to i want to try it out and i always tell my friends i just talk about it a lot i'm like i really want to try starting a channel you know 
I want a channel of my own. I don't even know what I want to do, but like YouTube seems like fun. And like, but then I was like, I always, I'd always criticize myself and be like, ah, no, but like, if you start a channel, who's gonna subscribe? What if no one subscribe? What if no one, the content you're gonna be making? And then, um, I told someone, and then that someone was like, oh my god, YouTube really looks so hard. Are you sure you're gonna be able to do it? And I also feel like that also goes to oversharing, guys. Don't just tell anyone and everyone your plans or like what you want to do. Look at me mixing these up. But anyway, I feel like if you want to understand, you will understand what I'm saying because I feel like there's a lot going on. Okay, yeah. She was like, I feel like YouTube is for like um, loud people, like people with hella high confidence, people with. I don't know like but like i think what she was saying was like i'm too calm for youtube and then i'm thinking to myself there's many youtubers i watch people literally have different characters i feel like we will we all won't like the same people and so eventually i got to a point where i was like you know what which was recently this year i was like you know what i won't know if i don't try let me try let me not say because so and so said it might not work out for you and then i decide to quit no let me not take that person's word let me not let that person tell me what i am and what i'm not so i was like you know what let me try and it cost zero okay not zero but like it's yeah it's literally it, li it literally costs zero to start a channel if there's not a few things you want to get so like what am i gonna lose if i try it and it doesn't work out for me then i'll just leave it so far i'm enjoying it i will say that I feel like it's been helping a lot with my confidence. I feel like I was so scared to start a channel. Like I couldn't even talk. I'd start shaking. Um, I remember I tried beginning of 2021. I tried filming a video beginning of 2021 on the 1st of January. I was so excited. I was like, you know what? I'm going to start my channel. And I was so scared and that didn't work out that video didn't work out it and then recently i managed to finally do a video and upload it and then i started this year and so far i'm really enjoying it so give things a chance before you cancel them like i'm i'm enjoying the sofa i won't even lie it's really i'm having a good time when i f eventually decide to film like i find filming so fun we are, oh my god am i supposed to be looking this white anyway the next one, God's timing is perfect. So like, there's a bunch of things you're going to want in life. And like, I feel like as you grow older, I feel like when we're younger, we just don't care. We don't overthink. We don't, we don't think too much. So I was saying, when we're younger, we literally don't care. Like, uh, like nothing is, what am I trying to say? nothing phases us to some extent like nothing is like life is just just jokes it's just jokes like and then when you get older when you're in your 20s life starts changing for people around us for friends for people we learned with like people are doing things you know there's stuff going on in people's lives all sorts of stuff and then you'll probably get to a point where you're wondering, Guti, what about me? You know, when is my this going to come? When is my this going to happen? But like, literally, I don't think this is right. But like, literally, trust me, God's timing is perfect. The time is right. God will make it happen for you, you know? Um. So yeah, just wait on God, guys. He, he's got you. Um... I feel like the next one is linked to this one. Don't be anxious. Do not be anxious about anything. Literally, like, um, yeah, don't be anxious. Don't allow anxiety to engulf you. Like, there's a lot of things that are happening in your early 20s. Like, I know for me, I suffered from anxiety for the most part of my early 20s. Not the most part, I'm lying. Like... 2021 when i was 2021 
um i think mostly because like i didn't know what the future held for me because co um i was studying here and then i went home for the holidays and then covid struck i was i was supposed to be there for a few weeks and then covid struck and then i wasn't coping with like online classes like i i don't know it just wasn't for me i was at that point i was just like nah this is not working also because i had to wake up early in the morning like 2 a.m so like there's a six hour time difference and that really messed with me as well i had to wake up at like 2 a.m to do lessons and i'd be sleeping during those lessons and i wouldn't even hear anything and then we wrote midterms and i didn't know anything like i didn't even understand what was going on mm, guys i sense a lie in this makeup but anyway so like i didn't understand what was happening i didn't even know like it was so hard look at me like i don't <laughs> anyway it was so hard and i wasn't enjoying it like i wasn't enjoying learning like i don't know man nothing was making sense at that time and so i decided you know what i was 20 yeah i was 20 and i decided you know what i don't want wahala like this is stressing me out and I, with the hopes that like soon enough like in a few months you know like when they said you can't go to school right now I was hoping that maybe it's gonna be a semester or like a few weeks or just a, a small chunk of the of the semester and then i'll go back to school eh guarantee we're in it in it so we wrote midterms and i didn't know what i was doing guys like i think i literally failed like five modules from that semester that was like the only modules i failed i failed ever since i started uni what am i doing this is not making sense anyway it's fine it's just jokes so i was like i think i'm going to suspend my studies until uh until they open borders for us because this is not working and then i suspended my studies yeah i suspended my studies and i was at home doing nothing not doing nothing i'm lying i was doing business and i was actually making enough to like do like but then you know that like personally i don't like the idea of normalizing starting stuff and not finishing it maybe because that's how i was raised like my dad will always be like no if you start something you're supposed to finish it so i was because this looks hella funny like i can't even be serious i feel like this is gonna be an epic fail of a video because what am i doing my face is not making sense so anyway um I was I suspended I was doing business and business was okay like I was making enough for 20 year old Amanda like I was so happy but like low-key um <laughs> I felt like people weren't getting me at that point and I wasn't okay like I just wanted to finish my degree and I was so anxious and I was like Ugh, but I'm already left behind and 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 then fast forward 2023 eventually i went back to school and no i i continued my lessons online like a year later from the time i suspended i continued online and it's great guys i'm almost done i can't say what i'm doing right now like what year i'm doing but like i'm almost done so like you know what and um by the time i restarted by the time i continued things seemed way easier i look ashy right now anyway let's move on yo i feel like i spoke about that for too long like longer than i was supposed to <sighs> my face is not making sense um uh where are we um yeah um, the next one is self-respect and self-worth. That's one of the lessons I learned in my early 20s, you know. I found myself in some situations where there was zero self-respect and self-worth. And I learned that, you know what, above all, whatever you do, however you feel about someone, like, whatever happens, I feel like it's important to master the art of self-respect. 
you know i feel like once you respect yourself no one can mess around with you like long enough um what do i mean this applies mostly to dating could also apply to friendships guys come on now like it applies mostly to dating um if you've got self-respect the moment someone shows an element of being disrespectful towards you or like not valuing you you won't stand for that like you'll be like nah i'm out of here and like trust me you are very important your mental health is important um you're worthy of better things in life you know like don't let people disrespect you or walk all over you and like i know it like it might be like a sense of nah i mean but i really like this person if someone is disrespecting you they have to go um if someone shows you signs that they don't value you as a person they have to go because you you matter guys and i feel like yeah it, it all stems from you respecting yourself and you valuing yourself then you know what you won't let anyone waste your time you'll just as soon as you sense a bit of this and that you're gonna be out the door you know so yeah i guess we could say yeah um self-respect and self-worth you need to master that because this makeup is not making sense but anyway <clears throat> Like, I feel like, at this point, I feel like what I normally do to myself is way better than what I'm doing right now. Um, next one. Yo, I feel like this also goes with this one. Like, so I feel like most of these things are, like, not repetitive. Not repetitive. Not repetitive. That. Not that. But, like, they're, like, linked. So, like, I just found one that's linked to the previous one. Um people know what they're doing as far as boys are concerned and i feel like it's important that we talk about this because it'll be unrealistic to talk about early 20s and not talk about boys the early 20s um for you to learn a lot about romantic relationships people know what they're doing it also goes with self-respect that one goes with self-respect people know what they're doing like don't let anyone lie to you and be like i did abcd because abcd no you're lying uh or i did a b c d it was a mistake no you knew what you were doing the problem is i found out so like such people people know what they're doing don't give people time to mess around with you for too long you know um you see signs of disrespect don't wait for someone to come and lie to you and be like no it was a mistake or no uh it wasn't my intentions no you knew what you were doing you you did it too went ahead and did what you did or yeah you know don't give people chances to like prove that they're nonsense okay it's not that deep and this one, this one was really a key part of my early 20s it's more important to have a personal relationship with god than to go to church every sunday before someone says yeah you're telling people not to go to church or like in your head you're probably saying are you preaching triple sixness no and preach you with triple six i'm saying um so you know how i don't know i don't know if it, if it applies to anyone to everyone but to me it applies you know how like when you're a kid you go to church because you know it's good to go to church like it's good to go to church it's good to attend church every sunday but half the time we don't know what's happening like you just know it's good to go to church i feel like as kids we were going to church yeah and it's good to make sure don't get me wrong it's good for kids to go to church like go to church um make sure kids go to church make sure your kids grow up in an environment where they know that church is key you know you should go to church but like it gets to a point where you get to an age where you should have a personal relationship with god you should know who god is you know you should have conversations with god you should understand that you don't only pray um when everyone is praying you should know that you can 
literally talk to God anytime you want to. I feel like it's important to know God for yourself. I feel like you're unstoppable at that point. Like, you're literally that girly. You know, Wuti, I can talk to God about anything, anytime, you know. Uh, you get an understanding of who God is and why you want to have a relationship with him and why you want to go to church every Sunday. Or maybe it only applies to me, but I know for a fact that there was a point in time in my life where I was just going to church, you know, because but it's a good thing. You're supposed to go to church. You're supposed to praise God. You're supposed to. But like, I didn't know who God was. Like, I was just following everyone else. And then you get to an age where you can't really justify that. Like, you need to have a relationship with God. You need to be able to pray for yourself pray for your loved ones you go to church now to nurture your relationship with him to learn from other christians you know and be able and hopefully let some people learn from you and how your relationship with god works um you know uh mingle with other christians and like share the word together but like you also knowing god for yourself don't get i feel like it gets to a point where you're just taking what people tell you about god taking what people tell you about the word because we're now on your own you don't know much about the word have an opinion when it comes to god and his word and his instructions on how we're supposed to live our lives. I know I was rambling, but like, basically what's important is have a personal relationship with God. The next one is, oh, this is, I think this is the last one. Don't absorb pressure. Like, just because um, you see person B, person A, with A, B, C, D things. Don't absorb pressure and then you get to a point where you're doing the wrong things to get stuff or to get places or like, you know, get to some places. Um, trust me, I feel like in your early 20s, people are doing all sorts of things. Um, people are doing big things. And then also if like things are moving a bit slow for you, you'll be... You, you get to a point where you'll be like, what about me, you know? And I feel like that's when people get to a point where they're doing all sorts of things to get some of those things. I feel like don't let that pressure get to you. Um, your time will come, you know? You'll get all of those things. Don't be in a hurry. Um, it goes back to God's perfect timing. Don't just, you know... Um, don't let the pressure get you, which he, ah, oh, so-and-so's got this, so-and-so is doing A, B, C, D, yes, they're doing that, yes, they've got that, but when the time is right, things will happen for you as well, you know, don't absorb pressure and then try to catalyze things or, like, try to get there faster and, like, I'm a shortcut, yini, yini, and all of that trust me god will make things happen for you as well like at the right time don't have no pressure like just don't also like you get to a point where you feel like okay my life is shitty which is not true you've got so much to be grateful for that's happening in your life just the fact that you woke up it's very important because trust me you're not gonna get to that point if you just if you didn't wake up you know the fact that you're alive you're here today it means Uguti God's got great stuff in store for you in the future, you know. You've still got a life to live, you know. There's more to your life, like, where you are is not the end, you know. So trust, best believe, things are going to happen for you as well.
uh, might not be the exact same things but you know what your life is gonna get better it's not gonna be like that forever come on now because i'm doing lies at this point i don't know what i'm doing but yeah like i feel like that's what i learned from my early 20s because this thing does not make sense i don't know if i'll upload it but i feel like that's what i've learned in my early 20s and i'm trying to live by that for the next few years and i know Uti, my opinion is bound to change on a bunch of things even things i've spoken about today but like that's what i've learned in my early 20s and yeah i can't wait to like experience life more and learn more stuff and yeah so yeah guys anyway let's finish this all also i hope you feel like i just spent the last hour blabbering and like this city is gonna be impossible to to like edit and i'll probably not upload it but i don't know depends how i feel like i don't know might upload it might not upload it whatever happens will happen at the end of the day me not but i don't look too bad yes but like i feel like i did something wrong because i don't see that snitched look i was looking for i don't see it it's just just like it's just like what i normally do to my face unless if i see it on camera but i feel like i look like a ghost i don't know something is just not right something is just not make sure but anyway let me do my lips but also mm, 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 mm. i'm done guys i honestly don't see it like something is definitely not right unless if maybe I don't know guys like it like it looks like the normal makeup i used to 